All right, guys, here to bring you the good news to talk about yet another Kickstarter project. Yay, everyone's favorite. So today, this one's called Dream World and the title of it. I just knew I was going to have to cover this. A couple of people messaged me and said, check this out. And it's literally called Dream World, the last game you'll ever play. So I'm not sure if that's supposed to mean like this is going to be the best game ever or if they're threatening to murder us or just put us off with gaming forever. Now, let's watch the trailer together and see what exactly is dream world real quick before we do as you can see here pledged 13,573 out of 7,172 pounds which means they've already raised double the amount of money that they said they would need to finish this game because bear in mind the way that kickstarter works when you say i need seven grand to finish this game you need to deliver the game for seven grand then it's not like a just put a goal up and then any amount of money you get is cool and you really need 500 grand to make it if you just say oh we're making this game we need seven grand it, you should be able to provide a minimum viable product for seven grand and you everything that you have within your kickstarter campaign should be within the game by the time you have spent that seven thousand pounds that's how it should work um if not i'm gonna say that's false advertising like oh we needed seven grand initially but we actually really needed much more you're a liar if that's what you do chronicles of valeria did it and i really really don't like it so let's go over the trailer I really like sandbox games, uh, Minecraft, stuff like that. Sandbox games in a more MMO sense, like the the ones like Mortal Online, Dark Fall, things of that nature, Worm Online. Um, I really like that stuff, and it's really cool, like this idea of having a big, persistent world where everyone can change everything. But the reason why nobody's done it is because, one, we don't really have the tech to do it, and two, because you need, you can't give everyone complete freedom because people will completely ruin the game for other people and it will just self-sabotage people will just kill the game um it, it's just something that if you've been on the internet for long enough you know this to be the case so you have to combat this stuff pretty hard I'm also not a graphics snob, but why does it look like a super low quality um, just game you'd see pop up on Steam Early Access for like $7? And then it like just just starts looking like a totally different, like high quality, um, high graphical game. Like why does it look so different constantly? This looks really good, looks really nice. Oh, holy FPS, that one. Hello, and welcome to Dream. Hello. Dream World is the massive Here we go, wow us, sell me. Where millions of people can play, adventure, and create together. Doubt. We want to create the world with the most freedom possible. If you see a tree and you want to cut it down, go cut it down. If you see dirt that needs digging, go dig that dirt. If you see a mountain that needs leveling, take that pickaxe and go level that mountain. So is this all From the, the gameplay footage they have? Like one minute of, of tundra, some random clips desert, of a character moving around? A candy land by one minute of a character moving around in a, in a low quality game world and like moving dirt and chopping trees down. That's all they've got because they're just re-showing us clips right now. ...to a pirate bay with jungle surrounding it that's dense enough to get lost in. This looks like a fly-through of, like, a, an asset store pack, to be honest. Is the end game. It's every genre, every game, every style, all wrapped into one. But first... Yeah, for seven grand, every genre, every style, all wrapped into one, every game. <sighs> that's just such... With a Kickstarter, you're you're advertising a product. So 
I don't think you should be making claims like this game is gonna put you off every other game ever because it will be the best game ever while trying to raise money. Um, it's gonna be every game ever made. Like, it's just ridiculous a as a concept. On why Dream World and why now? In okay. In March 2020, I was living with my fiance in New York City, and uh, we were in our first apartment and struggling to pursue our aspirations there together. The, the struggle. prior seven months, uh, I was applying to at least 10 new jobs every day. And then suddenly, at the end of January, an incredible opportunity wanted to hire me. And the start date was March 17th. And March 15th, um, COVID hit New York City. And oh, God. I lost my job as a waiter. And this opportunity rescinded their offer. And um, my fiance left me soon after. Oh, God. Oh, all right. I understand like the struggle. Um, life's it, it, you can't really say anything here because it'll come off like insincere, I think. But life really is shit at the moment. Um, a lot of people share a similar story to this. Do I think this is something you should be put in front and center for your like advertisement of your game? Definitely not because it does come across like, um, you know. If you've ever watched Britain's Got Talent or like America's Got Talent, you know, when they show you this, the the story of like how somebody came from like, oh, he was homeless and now he's he's actually got this really good singing voice and it like gets the crowd on the side. It comes off like that to me. And I know maybe that's just the cynic within me. I hope the guy's all right. I hope everything is going better now. And I wish them nothing but luck with the project. But when you're, this is your advertisement for your product, it just looks super, super unprofessional to to be like, this is my story of how, you know, COVID ruined my life and my, my fiance left me and and this, you know, game's now, you know, the future. Uh, I don't know. I, I'm just not a fan of like having that front and center as your like advertising main piece. So uh, I moved back in with my parents in California and began turning my life around. <laughs> Okay. My best friend, Gary, uh, a workaholic programmer, started calling me every day to try and cheer me up. And one of the times we were talking, I, I said, you know, hey, why don't we just make the game we've always wanted to play? As you do. We got yeah. so excited that I made a Discord channel. <laughs> and within the first day, we had Minecraft and Second Life and World of Warcraft players pouring in, uh, excited the, the about quality of like the the world just seems so weird and then gary quit his job and we added features responsible every week and we worked every waking hour <laughs> and then dream world went from small white box test level to uh medium-sized island to a like massive... even look at how low quality the character is compared to the, tr the trailer that they were showing with the like run through and everything the world where players could run around fly, and this just the next scene it just looks like two different games anything they could imagine it it's been an absolutely incredible wild ride <laughs> dream world is truly my dream come true and i am so excited to be sharing it with you yeah with your help this is only the beginning Hi, I'm Garrison. Welcome, Garrison. Welcome Google, to the couch. Facebook and Apple, and I left to come work on Dreamworld. Is he the world's most efficient fucking man? Uh, he was working at what was it? Google, Amazon, and Facebook, or Google? Which three top tech firms was it? Hi, I'm Garrison. I was working at Google, Facebook, and Apple, and I Google, Facebook, and Apple. So this guy's just quit three of the, you know, highest paying, best tech jobs in in the world of, like, the biggest tech firms to just pursue his goal making Dreamworld. Um, I left to come work on Dreamworld. I wonder if that Zach he was working all three at the same time. Of a single global game world. But the largest digital world that exists today can only have thousands of people. Then we came up with a solution that allows us to have millions. Dreamworld will be the largest multiplayer game ever. Yeah, I, I don't know, guys. I'm sick of hearing this. I'm sick of hearing people say these just outlandish claims when asking for money. It's going to have every game ever. It's going to be the best game you've ever played. I, I'm just a savant who's worked at all these great... If you have worked at those places, bro, 
congratulations you're really good at your job um i bet you're awesome i bet you really really know what you're doing but to claim you, you you've solved the problem that no one else has been able to solve and you, you're now struggling for funding to make an indie mmorpg that's going to be the best game ever made if you solved network architecture that you could have millions of people in a game i'm pretty sure you could just be selling that i'm pretty sure you could be getting funded from from tech companies and, and other companies to get your game made if you provably could do that it, it's just unrealistic to me thank you so much for being a part of this kickstarter campaign and part of dream world thank you so much for building this dream with us uh from the bottom of our hearts oh my this god no 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 thank you okay and we'll see you in dream world okay i really really is that the end of it i really really wish them the best of luck i'm gonna have to say don't fund this guys just based on the video alone um because it's so ridiculously unrealistic that this even comes to fruition what they've shown so far within that gameplay is nothing to do with what they're talking about they've shown literally like a very very rudimentary basic gathering system and a very basic um building system that looks i mean the game looks super low quality like it's not impressive whatsoever so this is all i wanted to read because i did scroll through this earlier and, and see the uh the titles so where we're at two full-time devs one part-time dev so two and a half men are making this probably why they need the seven grand for some coke um go charlie sheen style eight months of development so far that they're in while we don't have all the features in the video yet so there we go the video is a lie we have a massive procedurally generated world that is entirely deformable a large catalog of 3d objects for you to build from basic combat the multiplayer capacity to have thousands playing together where's the millions that you said you'd solved a massive amazing community and weekly feature additions midterm goal we will update the alpha nearly every week so wait have people played this yet we'll update the alpha every week bringing more gameplay content and the changes you request the alpha trailer is our roadmap and over the next six months we aim to have everything you see in dream world so the alpha trailer li it literally is just uh isn't the real game that they've already made so that's why it looked the way that it looks it's just a lie an infinite procedurally generated world a player driven economy based on creating useful in-game items unique biomes for endless exploration mobs and bosses for you to take down 10 full-time devs hundreds of thousands of players the long-term vision is every genre every style every game type that has been and, and will be all in one world built by each player on the back of accessible and powerful modular user interfaces things zbrush photoshop and sketchup but in game and easier i can't wait you know when i make a thumbnail for my videos i'm not going to do it in the in the shitty photoshop anymore they've not only solved every game ever made they've not only solved networking that no one's ever solved before millions of people in the world but they've solved the creative industry as well Fuck it. We've got ZBrush, uh, SketchUp, and Photoshop better and easier than than the actual products that that like Adobe sells. So, shit. I, I guess they've just figured it all out. So yeah, there's a million problems with this game. I went through some of the other sections, and they talk about stuff like, oh, you know, it's not gonna have any pay to win, but you can buy cosmetics, and you can buy like a skyship that's in the trailer for a two thousand dollar package, and that skyship flies over when it looks like a totally different game so that's definitely not in the game already and on top of that they also say you can import any 3d model into the game which, which means you can just make a 3d model of anything you want and put it in the game or download one online and put it in the game how are you going to sell people things if people can just make them themselves it's not a very sustainable business model in my opinion and something that doesn't make a bunch of sense but then again not a lot about the kickstarter makes sense so yeah i just it's so unrealistic guys that i don't know what else to tell you they already have got the money that they would need because they themselves set that goal so don't give them money if they deliver on the project if it, if it does work i'd be excited to play it because it sounds so outlandish it sounds like a dream it sounds like they're living in a dream world honestly um so yeah i'd definitely not recommend putting money on, on this but if you did Hopefully it turns out well, and hopefully one day I'm saying, you know, I was wrong, and these guys are just the best game two-man game development team ever, and they made the most ambitious video game ever made, that is every video game packed into one with millions of players, and no problems whatsoever with people griefing and, and ruining the game for other people. So, yeah, thank you very much for watching, as always. Socials are in the video description. Thank you very much. Stay safe. We're out. Peace.